What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am really, really excited. I think I keep saying that. I am. I have been really excited about every video that we have made this year. But today, you guys, look at it. It's March 10th and it is nuking outside. This is the endless winter. We are gonna talk about how good the 325 is, the new 2024 Polaris snowmobiles. Let's get into it. Well then, so middle of March, we should be having spring conditions, yet Mother Nature has blessed us with just this awesome snow. And what better way to test this snow than this 325 9R Players 24. It's, uh, as you can see, maybe in the video, like I can be almost at a dead stop and <laughs> on an uphill. And unless it's my fault, this thing is getting out of the hole. This track hooks up. It wants to get on top, it wants to go forward. Very happy with it. Hell yeah, dude. You're having such a good time, your 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 flashlight is on your oxbow. Well, I gotta see you where gotta I'm going. See. I get it, I get it. Uh. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I've been on these 24s quite a bit with Dan. Full 325s, Chaos 9R, Boost RMK. Man, these things are a riot. Do they want to hook up playful, but get work done? It's not like the wheelie trench mobile. It's like, hold the hell on or it's going to drive out from underneath you. <laughs> but dude, if I had the choice, 275, giving, if you want to go and be playful, 325's where it's at. I know. So I have a three inch identical sled and this 325 hooks up so much. Holy cow, I'm tired from holding on to that thing. It goes and goes. You can just point this thing up a hill and it'll just keep crawling and crawling and crawling. It's amazing. So Joel, what, what does it do that your current sled doesn't do? Like what's happening? Like um, what are you feeling first impression? I don't feel like this trench is like mine does. Okay. So mine will come down in a trench and come over backwards and this will just keep forward momentum. 
and you have a 55 three inch. Yep. That's exactly what I thought too, both in the boosted sled or in an aspirated sled. The 325, it just feels like it wants to just keep going forward. Exactly. It doesn't mean that it's not playful. Lots of questions of whether or not this thing is just so stable and, and people are, they're kind of getting confused with forward drive. Right. Like that, if they're gonna have to relearn how to ride it. Are you feeling like you're having to relearn? Is it pretty damn intuitive? Like you're just, it's, it yeah, feels already natural. feeling at home. Yep. I can get this thing to come over backwards, bow ties, hop overs, whatever I want. So if I lean forward, it'll go forward. I've been such a 65 guy for so long, both as a personal sled or even a guide sled. And yeah. with the 325, I feel like a 325, it has the same characteristics as a longer track. It does. Because of how much forward drive it has. So that's really cool. Correction, mine's a 163 three inch. Okay, copy. And this feels better traction wise for forward momentum than that. Nice. But it's playful. Yeah. That's perfect. Dude. It's a great snowmobile. I love this thing. Nobody else can have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that uh, relieves anybody's questions about the 325 or the performance of a Polaris 24, dude, go get one today. <laughs> Dan, I'm gonna take it home. <laughs> That's all right, just for the weekend. Good, nice work, man. So, coming off of a 17 axis 800. <laughs> Can't even breathe, I'm so excited yeah. right now. Big change. 325, enormous difference. 26, 275s, they get you where you wanna go. This is gonna put you at the top. Nice. Every time. Nice. So Thank with you, that sled, like some significant changes. So the track's working better. And then uh, what else about the 9R? Cause you don't have not spend that much time, especially today yeah. on something like that coming from an 800 from what, oh. you, what your GCI was? Uh, 17,800. So a 17,800 and that's a 163? 155. So 55, so you're back onto a 55 9R yeah. with a 325. She wants to walk. She just wants to walk. Yeah. Your arms are gonna be tired. It's like doing pull-ups all day. <laughs> <laughs> and did you feel, so players continually is using this like forward drive, like like never before has there been a track that like instead of trenching down for a 55 especially, and you're a big dude, kind of leaning back, pulling back, does it still feel like it wants to wheelie over or does it feel like it's wanting to go forward? No, it's still trying to keep that forward momentum on you. You can pull back to get it to ride the wheelie where you want it, get chaotic like the chaos. Yeah. But other than that, if you want it to go up, push your forward weight and it's oh, gone. It's I'm glad you had fun, ship. man. Nice Thank work. You. He's hired. <laughs> The track speed on this thing is so unbelievable. Like, I just absolutely blew up that and was, like, I don't understand how it didn't come over backwards. But it just it kept making momentum and kept going and kept going until I pulled back. Like I've blown away 
at how this goes forward, but it still is playful as my 275. I've been a 275 guy the last two years. Heck yeah, dude. And I just am blown away at how this sled goes, but still has all of the characteristics of a Polaris snowmobile. Yeah, like, yeah. And like when I took a bad line there, I should have got stuck. It just popped right out. Yeah. Like I really thought 24 for Polaris, kind of a BNG year. Yep. This track, it's game changer. Yeah. You're, you're coming home with me, and now, now I got a snow check again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, that about does it. Hope you guys are as stoked as we are about this thing. I am telling you what, these guys all nailed it with all of the th stuff that they've been saying about it. Game changer, gets up on top of the snow. A 325 and a 155, it truly rides like a 65 does. It's so, it's so much different, it's so much better. <laughs> we were gonna talk about the eye scratchers. We don't need those things on a day like today, but they're awesome as well. You guys remember, like, subscribe all of those things we appreciate all of you guys thank you so much march 10th potentially best day of the winter we love having those we'll see you next time.